Does everybody know what time it is? It's toy time. Oh yeah. So we got a lot of toys here, Jimmy. Yes, we do, sir. Yes, we do. Um, I don't know, man. I went a, I went a little crazy. Uh, I have one old one. It's still a good one, though. It is a good one. It is a nice one. You want to start off? Sure. I only got the one. All right. Uh, this is the DC Icons uh, power suit Green Lantern. It's Hal Jordan. Right? Hal Jordan. Definitely Hal Jordan. Okay. Yeah. Not, Except no other substitutes. Well, not to be confused, because they did release a John Stewart. Yes, they did. So... Did, did they release him with the, with the armor and everything? No. no. He's not he a was deluxe. A, he was a standard. He's not a deluxe, but he's pretty cool because they did give an effect on his uh, on his fist where the ring goes, you can actually plug in manifestations. See, so now that's, that's pretty cool. neat. Um, but no, he didn't He didn't get any nifty manifestations like that. You know, I was expecting him to throw in like uh, some sort of assault rifle or sniper rifle, a minigun, something like that since he's military yeah. trained, you know. I mean, they both are, but... He's more, he's more towards. Yeah, the, Hal was a pilot. So. Yeah, and I think what he was, uh, John Stewart was a Marine. Yes. Yeah. 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 So he was a rifleman. So I was expecting to see something like that, but that didn't happen. So I would say this is the cooler of the two because it's got so much neat stuff, and I think he even has like a uh, kind of a fiery fist manifestation. Yes, but he doesn't. You can't hook it up to anything. No, you got actually. You've actually got to unplug the hand and just wedge it onto the arm. Wedge it onto the the forearm. <laughs> but it also has, he also has a neat little cannons. The blaster. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know. Yeah, it's got that. It goes on a hand. That's the fist Jimmy was talking about. And we got one more in here. Little machine gun hand. And it does come with uh, two extra hands for gripping the lantern or holding whatever. Yeah. But it only comes with one lantern. I think I've, I've actually got that one at home. It's pretty cool. But I, I haven't gone that far with it. But I, <laughs> I was looking at all the it's pieces. a lot like, of stuff in there, man. It's a little daunting. I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of time on this figure, you know, just putting all this crap on him. And he does um, come with wings that actually swivel on his back. But I will say this, uh, downside of this figure is once everything is on him, um, without putting the guns on at the ends of his arms, he's really difficult to balance. Yeah. But you can pop the wings off pretty easy, and they go on, go on just as easy. And he balances pretty all right. That's a pretty neat armor. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the bubble head. But no, I, don't, I don't either. But yeah, I would have done like for that. I would have done like a suit of armor, you know, like kind of like medieval yeah. style, maybe the Kingdom Come kind of stuff. That, yeah, that was pretty neat. Well, what I what I really want to see is the parallax armor. Yeah. That's. Yeah. That, that actually would have been a really cool addition. Did they yeah. give him the grays? I can't remember. Uh, on this one? No. No. Okay. No. Just not, yeah. Got his regular hair on. Alternate head. Yeah. Make him parallax green lantern. That would be neat. But this guy came out before the heads were really interchangeable. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't even know if they've done that yet. Have they done it? No, they got the static shock and uh, uh, cyborg, I think, has it. Yes. Uh, so. And the cyborg. Deluxe yeah. has like everything interchangeable. <laughs> so yeah, you get a lot of options with these DC Icon figures. Um, I've got quite a few of them. They're they're pretty nice, really high detailed, a lot of accessories. Uh, they retail for about twenty four ninety nine. The regular ones. Yeah. This one was a deluxe. Those prices vary on the size. Um, Only what, about forty fifty. Forty to fifty for the Green Lantern. I've seen the Batgirl deluxe for like sixty. Um, and the dark side, and uh, I can't remember his, I guess his daughter. Grail. Grail, that's right. The dark dark side Grail pack was like almost 100 bucks. Yeah. It's pretty massive. Which, the funny thing about the dark side Grail pack is that's not even a deluxe. It's just two figures. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, dark side's massive. Just yeah. Huge. Jimmy got that for my wife, and a, a Joker as well. Because uh, she's bedridden at the moment, pretty much. And uh, I know she had a lot of fun. <laughs> she's had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> and its eyes do glow. I put it on my drawing light pad for a little bit, face down, and then walked around the house with it. 
<laughs> You're pretty glowy. Yeah, very much so. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was enough to make Will Arnett say he's still relevant. So, um, <laughs> this, it was a great movie, and I think these guys are cute. Uh, this is not. This is what. This is the third one we review, we've reviewed on this show. Yeah. Um, the first two, I think, were uh, Captain Salazar from Pirates of the Caribbean, mm-hmm. and then uh, the Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, the exclusive build from the Lego store. Uh, definitely check that out. You know, stop by there if you're a fan of Lego. It's the best way to go, because you know, VIP rewards program. Oh yeah. You don't get that anywhere else. Um, but yeah, the, these guys are amazing. They're awesome. They all have their own little details, and I think uh, his glowy eyes uh, probably sell because those. Those pieces are kind of hard to come by. They don't really do a lot of glow-in-the-dark stuff. Um, it's pretty awesome. I, I do find it really cool that most of the pieces are standard. Yeah. Like, these are regular pieces. So there's not a lot of... As a matter of fact, on this one, I, I haven't seen any special pieces except for this one. Yeah, well... The printed belt. This one you can actually find in several other sets. You can, but that's the thing. There's no stickers to this. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Um, there's no stickers to this, and uh, I hate having to deal with stickers because you can put those on a piece, but that completely, you know, takes away from its use because if you use it too much, the stickers start to curl. Mm-hmm. They also do that with age and time. I, I really like it when or the printing goes. starts to come off. Right, right. And you just got this white sticker on there. Right. I, I think. Lego going more towards this in their sets is really cool. I can understand a big set and having stickers. You want to, you don't want to kill the people, you know, the people buying the set on the price. Yeah. Um, but it's a great way to do things. Uh, what it, what would you rate it, Tanya? I, I'll I'll tell them your rating. I don't know, four to five. Four to five. Cool. I give it a four point something. Four point something. <laughs> And it's fun to build, and you know it looks. I like this little cape. Yeah, see, it's. I think he's got cool little features. Yeah, it's cute to see that afterwards. It's kind of like uh, what yeah. what sells the Funkos, you know. Um, they're doing a good job, kind of. I hate to say it, jumping on the bandwagon, but everybody's doing it. Why yeah. Not? Um, then I've got uh, these guys that just uh, hit the store shelves. Um, this is from the Lego Ninja Go movie that's up and coming, and these are. See, that's eight figures out of, I think, 16. So these are all bagged individually. It's a mystery as to which one you're going to get. So, you you know, if you ever walk into a toy aisle and you see somebody, like, furiously trying to feel the package, that means they're trying to find one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're looking for one they We've don't have. We've done it. Yeah. We've I've, done I've it. I've done it plenty of times. Uh, it's, it makes you look like a madman. But these are really cool, and, and they also come with their own like individual pieces that are specific to that figure. You can't find it anywhere else. You can't, you know, you can't open up a set and find yeah. some of these pieces. Um, and it could be anything from just a newly molded piece to a newly printed piece. Like this uh, little cornflakes box here. I mean, that is a printed piece. It's not a sticker. But it's cool to have something like that in Lego form. And then you've got a, this guy here has a selfie stick. I can't turn it around right now, but he, well, I don't unclip it. He has like a, a cell phone here on the end with a picture of himself. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's pretty neat. And these guys go for like three ninety. Oh, I'm sorry. The Batman goes for nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, all all the uh, brickheads are the, that price, and then you've got these guys which go for three ninety nine a piece. And remember, it's always a mystery. Um, but I'm, I'm really pleased with a lot of the pieces they're putting in here. This this little octopus head's neat. Uh, cool stuff. And I, I can think of utilizing these for other things. Um, but I found them at Target. You can probably find them at Walmart. You can probably find them you know, at your regular retailers. They just hit the shelves. Uh, I guess moving on from there, we did have some uh, Marvel Legends figures that... Uh, we, well, this guy already made it into the shot with the Green Lantern over there. Um, that would be the Vulture from uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Mm-hmm. And then you've got Moon Knight. And these guys are from the same same series. And uh, they, there's, I think, seven figures in the series. 
and you also get these pieces to the vulture's final uh, wingsuit. And if you get all seven, you get all seven pieces, you can build the wings for this guy. Um, Very cool. Yeah, I, I would have it half built, but I'm missing a vital piece, listen, missing the homecoming Spider-Man. So as soon as I can get them built, we'll have a full dynamic shot of this guy, and it'll be neat. Um, but these guys retail anywhere from $19.99 to $25.99, depending on where you go. Um, normal retailers, you're looking at the $20 price point. You go aftermarket, you're looking at 25 and up. Yeah. Um, apparently, news is they just re-released these. They put another batch out, so get them while they're hot and happy hunting. Um, they are going quick. Yes, yes, they are. Uh, what else do we need to discuss here, sir? Loot the crate. Loot crate. I'm wearing the Didn't shirt wear from it. Crate. Yeah, he's wearing the Ninja Turtle shirt, and that would be the uh, cartoon that we all grew up. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally 80s, man. I had that. The turtle wagon? Yeah, I did too. I actually had two of them. I had the blimp. I had the blimp as well. Yeah. What was the duck guy? The, the, the one with the... Oh, the I know who you're name. talking about. I can't think of his name, though. See? So many damn characters. I remember the the rabbit's name. The rabbit? You saw Yojimbo. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's actually made a... They, they're doing a series now. They are. Yeah. yeah. They are. Pretty cool. <laughs> that was that was uh that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> I think you mentioned something about that three years ago to uh, somebody very very important. Yes, and they and it hinted very very subtly. It was well received though. Yeah, I, we, oh, yeah. we got the message. Everybody we knew it was coming. See that. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing the Ninja Turtle shirt from the new Loot Crate. Um, also got what else we got here we got uh we that got, guy? yeah this guy that's from rick and morty which one is that rick or morty that's rick that's rick see i haven't went you know if my girlfriend watches this she's probably already in bed but she would probably slap me through the camera um the slurm <laughs> got a couple of slurm koozies yes this is what it looks like on a can that's what it looks like off a can this I thought was hilarious. Burger, burger of the, the day. day. Bob's Burgers Burger Box. Real recipes for joke burgers. Wow. So if you wanted to make a Bob's Burger Burger, there's your book right there. And how simple is that? If you can't make a burger, you've, you've messed up. And if you can't make a burger and you want to, here's a book for you. So we were informed that there's a burger for each of the new episodes... And it's on the on the boards. So it's it's as was described. I guess it's like uh, Bart Simpson at the beginning of Simpsons when he's writing on the board. It's always something different. Yeah. So I, how many how many burger recipes are in this thing? Is what I want to know. Um, I don't know, Does but I'm reading some the of the front? directions that are on the back. It doesn't say on the okay. front, but I'm reading some of the directions on the back, and it's absolutely hilarious. Make four patties, season both sides with salt and pepper, and cook your burgers. Build your burger. Bottom bun, burger, a bunch of cheese, curds, brown get gravy, and a gratuitous amount of crumbled Ritz crackers. For the fries, simply mix in some cheese, curds, and pour some gravy on top. You can do this with loose change or a bucket of golf balls too, but don't eat it. It would just be it would just be for fun in that situation. And it it reads like Bob talks. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, oh, man, you got that. Get the, the box that yeah. it came in. And of course the shirt. They all come with a shirt. And a pin. They yeah. all come with pins. This was a Bob's Burgers pin. Which is... Yes, there it is. It's a leak pin. And what's the character? You're more versed with Bob's Burgers. So... Oh, Bob's son? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, well, we, actually it might, might say here. In the Loot Crate official guide. It mm -hmm. says on the back... In front it says animation, 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 several times. And then we heart you, or we love you on the back. It's July 2017. Uh, let's see. The theme is animation. Yes. Got your t-shirt with the half shell, turtle power. Got your burger of the day as we went over. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're cards. Ah, there we go. There's the answer to my question. 25 hand-selected recipes, including vegetarian options. So... If you people out there are vegetarians, you don't like the thought of meeting, eating meat or meeting meat, you know, whatever. 
just got some recipes in there for you. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Man, there's a whole to do on this the, month's pen. Yep. As seen, Gene. Gene. As seen in season one, episode 13, you can take Gene in his burger mascot costume with with you wherever you go to remind you of your love for for dad's bur... Wait. Bob's, Bob's Burgers. Burgers. <laughs> DLC. Uh, have you been keeping <laughs> up with the bonus loot? Get this month's Bob's Burgers bonus and catch up on any month you missed by visiting lootcrate.com backslash pins. I yes, uh, just plugged them. They, they started that a while <laughs> back. Uh, they have uh, little QR scan codes, I believe, that you can that links you to their website and you get like bonus stuff. That was a clever written segue there. I just, I just kept going with it. <laughs> Cosplay <laughs> for your shiny metal cans. <laughs> Family friendly with an adult edge. Futurama for... <laughs> Futurama proved popular enough to survive the cancellation and get a crossover with The Simpsons to boot. One could say the show was highly addictive. Celebrate, celebrate like Slurm's <laughs> McKinsey with this two-pack of Slurm branded drink koozies that will keep your 12-ounce soda cans cooler for longer. Oh yeah, that's, they're they're pretty sturdy. Material. They are. That's that's a nice koozie. I like it. Like I've I've had koozies before that just or you know wafer thin and they feel like they're going to fall apart. And of course on the bottom it has a Futurama logo and a Loot Crate logo. That lets you know it's Loot Crate exclusive. And Futurama official. That's right. (laughs) And uh, he told them it meant peace among worlds and we are talking about uh, Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. It's this guy right here in case you didn't know. And he is giving you the finger. That's two times. Pretty awesome. Just letting, letting you know that you're number one <laughs> twice. Yeah. So he's an inventor and adventurer. Um, so I'm guessing these guys, Rick and Morty, they go through time, through space, to alternate dimensions, and all over the place, and have these crazy misadventures that aren't quite so kid friendly. Yeah. Don't let your kids watch this show, folks. No. It'll rot their brains. And. If you're an adult, watch the show. It'll rot your brain so you don't pay attention to your kids. Well, I mean, you know, only pay attention when, when it's vital. But when they're in bed, you, you get what I mean, right? Just just don't do not do it while they're awake and possibly doing something hazardous. Yeah. Like playing in the freeway or well, petting a snake. You know, nowadays, you, you, if, nowadays, if you want to punish a kid, it seems like that's the only thing you can do to them. Tell them in the go, freeway? So tell them to go play in the freeway, because otherwise <laughs> they're going to want to stay home and play their video games. So I can I, I sympathize with them, though. I want to stay home and play my video games. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's really cool, man. This, Loot Crate's doing some awesome stuff, and uh, they're really hitting what's popular. Uh, almost like maybe they're doing demographic research or something. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the smart way to go. And I, I can say, uh, like, subscribe to, and if nothing else, subscribe to the emails for their news. Um, that's what I do. I don't have a subscription, but every now and then they'll have a box theme that I just, I got to have it. Yeah. And the only way I know is get the email. So, yeah, get on the website, and if nothing else, sign up for the email news. That way they can throw it at you every month what they're doing, and maybe they'll be able to hook you with something. That, and they will they'll they will prank you pretty hardcore on, on uh, April Fool's Day. They got me. Oh, they did? Yeah. I lost my mic. I totally lost my mic a long time ago. I don't even know when. It fell on the floor. That's terrible. That is terrible. Oh, my God. I well, I don't even know when when that happened. Why didn't you tell me? Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know. Why does why does everybody look at me like this I guy, have answers? This guy right here fucked up. <laughs> Shit. So uh, yeah. Well, you want to go play action figures? Actually, I've I've got like you know, a whole bunch of bricks here. Oh yeah. yeah. Don't worry, this is nothing important. It's just a Ninja Go set that I bought that was on clearance. So. Put that back there. I was using that for the stand. But yeah, if you want to get creative, get some Lego in your life. If you want to, you know, put some decoration on your shelf, go get you some action figures. And uh, if you're thirsty, 
Drink slurm. something in a slurm, slurm koozie. That'll make you feel better. <laughs>